What is culture? Alan, you're not uh, supposed to be up there. Oh, well, why not? It's dangerous. Well, no, it's not. Yes, it is dangerous. No, it's not. It's really not. Why is it not? Well, because you drew me, so you'd have to draw me falling <laughs> off. Actually, he's got a good point. Okay, fine. You can stay up here, but that's only because I drew you so that you can never fall off. But Yeah. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. <clears throat> oh, hi, guys. So, today, what I'm supposed to be doing is I'm supposed to be teaching you a culture story about Alan the Alien. Alan, is it okay if I tell a story about you? Well, yeah, I love okay, stories. Great. So, before we start our story, we have to first ask, what is culture? So, guys, when I tell you something like the word milk, you can immediately think of something in your head and you go, ah, milk. Yeah. Or if I say hippopotamus, you guys can think in your mind and boop, a picture of a hippopotamus will show up. But when we talk about culture, culture is actually much different than anything else. It's actually many different ideas put into one. It's the things that make the people in a place special. It makes them unique. So for example, people from one country have a kind of culture, and it's all of the things that they do that are special and different from anywhere else in the world. So it could be the language that they speak, it could be the clothing that they wear, it could be the food that they eat, it could be the art and music that they've made, it could be the landmarks, and if you don't know what landmarks are, it's just the place, um, the, the cool things that people made in that place, okay? There could be, uh, what else could there be? Um, there could be sports and games. Uh, it, it's even the, the types of holidays that people have when they're there. So culture is actually many, 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 many different ideas, and that's why I drew it into a bubble like this. So for today, we're going to be telling a story about Alan meeting some different cultures. Are you ready? Yeah. Alan, are you ready for me to tell that story? Oh, yeah. Okay, great. <clears throat> Once upon a time, Alan decided to go to Mexico. He wanted to go to Mexico because I had told him that scientists think that that's where the meteor was that hit that made all of the dinosaurs extinct. But, unfortunately, I forgot to tell Alan something. So when Alan arrived to Mexico, he walked up really nicely to the first Mexican man he saw, and as politely as he said, he said, uh, excuse me, mister, can you tell me, I, I want to see the dinosaurs. And you know what that Mexican man said? He said, see? And Alan said, yes, I want to see the dinosaurs. And the Mexican man said, see? And he said, yes, I want to see. See? Yes, I want to see. See? K? C-K, are we? Oh. Are you just saying parts of the alphabet? So what he, Alan did not know, and now you've learned it from here, is that actually C does not mean the letter C in English. It's actually the word yes in Spanish. And if you guys yeah. did not know this, and now Alan knows this, I know is that now. people in Mexico don't speak English. They speak Spanish. Or so when Alan kept going, C, 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 C. He was getting the C's all confused. Yeah, I was thinking A, B, C. So, Alan, now, have you learned your lesson about language? Oh, yeah, definitely. You did? So you can speak some Spanish now? Uh, a little bit. Okay, try some of your Spanish. Cabrito blanco, re blanco, se come de aquí. Ya va mi hasta el puerto, donde yo nací. That was incredibly impressive. Oh, I still you have, have gotten so good at bit. Spanish. Oh, wow. You. Good job. So, Alan, would you like to tell us about the next things that you did after you learned about the language of Mexican culture? Oh, sure. I would love okay. to. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and share that with us? Okay. So... Yeah, so I also learned that they speak Spanish. And, oh, with the clothing, I got a sombrero and a poncho. Oh, it was so cool. And then, oh, they have the great food. Uh, tacos and burritos and everything so spicy. Oh, and then I got maracas, and then I went to Chichen Itza. Actually, that's me and Chichen Itza. And then, uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, they like to play soccer, but we, we don't call it football. Actually, they call it football. And then there's Dia de los Muertos, and that's what I learned about Mexican culture. 
Wow, it sounds like you had a wonderful time then, Alan, didn't you? I did, I really did. Great. So, can I continue with your story? Well, yeah, of course. Okay. So, after Alan learned all of these things about Mexican culture, he was so happy, so he decided to go back to China. And when he got to China, he got a little bit too used to the, to the type of Mexican culture. So when he came back to China, he accidentally forgot some of those things. One of the first things that happened was when he got back is he wore the wrong clothes. He kept wearing his sombrero and his poncho wherever he would go. He ended up giving it to a Chinese person, and that Chinese person was super happy about that. Yeah. Now, after this, Alan gets to China. And when he gets to China, he wants to go look at the Great Wall of China. So he goes and asks a nice Chinese person, Excuse me, can you tell me where the Great Wall is? And they said, Ni xiang qu chang cheng ma? Which in English would be, you want to go to the Great Wall? And Alan said, See? Si. Oh no, Alan, you had forgotten yeah. that C is Spanish for yes yeah, and I not for Chinese. Chinese. So he says to them, I want to go to the Great Wall, C. And the person went, C? C? They did not what? know what he was trying to say. So he would say, C? I want to see, 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 see. And they kept going, Xi Jinping the C? Oh, no, <laughs> busha, busha, busha. Uh, si zao de si? And if you guys did not know, si zao actually just means to clean something. Well, so when he said, it, it si, si, means to wash. si, and pointing at himself, <gasps> they decided to grab him and thump, <laughs> threw him in a big bath and gave him a nice wash. <laughs> uh. Oh, Alan, you didn't like that exactly? Well, I mean, they should have told me first. Oh, okay. So, Alan had learned that he had accidentally been speaking Spanish to Chinese people. So instead, Alan had to remember that China has a completely different culture and has lots of different things. So, Alan, why don't you tell us, what did you go do after that? Oh, well, well, I learned that they speak Zhongwen, which is Chinese, and they say ni hao. Oh, the clothes is uh, the hanfu, is the one for the boys. Oh, and then there were food. I love the xiaolongbao. With their art and music, they have like calligraphy, which is shufa. And then they have a lot of special instruments that are only there in China. And I thought that was super cool. There are so many landmarks in China. So I just went to the Great Wall. So actually, here's a picture of me at the Great Wall. And then from the landmarks, there's a lot of other ones. With sports, my favorite one is ping pong. Because in Chinese, you say ping pong. <laughs> And for my holidays, I picked Chinese New Year and Dragon Boat Festival. And that's the Chinese culture I learned about. So Alan now learned about Mexican culture and Chinese culture. And he got so excited that he wanted to learn one more. So I said, you should go to the place where I'm from. I'm from the USA, America. So Alan decided to go to America. And he was really good about making sure that he was using the right culture for the right place. So when the language came around, he knew exactly what language to speak. What language is that, Alan? It's English. Yes, very good. So he walked over to some people and he said, Oh, excuse me, I want to see your great wall. Oh, Alan. Okay, well, it's okay if you did not know this, but actually the Great Wall is only in China. China only has the Great Wall of China. So uh -huh. instead of having that for a landmark, we had something different. Oh, so Alan went to go see the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. And when he went and saw the Statue of Liberty, he found something interesting. Alan, what did you find out? Where is the Statue of Liberty from? It's from France. What? Yeah, it's France. But that's not fair. Well, but it's it American culture. Yeah, but it came from France. And this is the France. interesting thing that Alan learned. American culture is different from a lot of cultures in the world because they actually are mixing cultures from other places. I also learned that, well, okay, so they speak English, which is from England. There's no real special clothes because, well, it's a young country. 
And for the food, well, hamburgers, I found out, came from Germany. French fries are from France. Tacos are from Mexico. Pizza's from Italy. And orange chicken is from China. But at the same time, they kind of changed everything a little bit. With the music, they had rock and roll. Oh, for landmarks, there's the Statue of Liberty at Mount Rushmore. For sports, there's baseball and American football. And I found out basketball was actually created by a Canadian person that came down to America. So I can't tell if it's Canadian culture or American culture, but I know that a lot of people in America play it. And for holidays, I picked the 4th of July and Halloween because I like both of those ones so much. So, Alan learned that America actually takes uh, many Mr. different Tina. things. Oh, did you want to say one more? Holidays, like Dia de los Muertos. Ah, yes. Dia de los Muertos is the Day of the Dead in Mexico. But in America, we celebrate something kind of the same. Yeah, it's Halloween. Yes, but again, we changed it a little bit. Dia de los Muertos is focusing on your family and the people and loved ones that have died I like in Chinese a New long Year. time ago, and you want to honor them. But Halloween is about scaring away all of those evil spirits and getting lots and lots of candy. Candy. OK, Alan, so what did you learn? I learned that culture are like the things that make people like special and different and unique from other people in the world. And it's super fun to learn about other people's cultures. And they like it when you learn about their culture, too. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, that's the end of our lesson today. So I hope you enjoyed this culture experience. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Say bye, Alan. Bye, Alan. <laughs>